Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in the Laboratory. And oh, yep, I know Sarah, I know. It has been a long time with you and it is now time for you to retire. You have served us so well with your bro evil cheerful ways and have introduced a strong line of a vampire cat. Just look at those teeny tiny little fangs. Oh, come on, Blue Moon, don't be shy. Show off your beautiful little fangs. Yes. I am so happy that we have had a strong line of vampire cats now, though I have to admit that Leia really looks, uh, wow, like a vampire cat indeed. Look at those blood red eyes. Who knows what kind of evil plans our friend Sarah has had here in our lab for so long, but it is now time for Sarah and her sidekick cat Kick Punch to retire, and they are going to be headed out getting into who knows what kind of mischief. Maybe we'll see them again one day in my mischief making a series with our wonderful raccoon rascal gang at some point in the future but i need a new lab assistant that is the very first thing that we are going to get up to today you guys is retiring sarah letting a kick punch go with her no doubt they're going to grab some elixir of life on their way out and return her to her youth and then we are going to begin with blue moon as our cat and anna soa uh anna anna soa as our dog for our pet genetics challenge. We're doing a pretty good job too, if you ask me. Because look at this. We have a horse cow griffin dog. <laughs> that kind of sounds like I sneezed and somebody should say like gazoontite after that. Horse cow griffin dog. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it makes me want to do something with Harry Potter too. But anyway, we've got to keep going. We have to see what our 100th dog will look like. And a lot of you guys have been telling me that Blue Moon should actually be the 47th cat in our feline family tree. And I totally believe you, but I'm going to go ahead and just carry on where we are currently at because it would bother me to skip some numbers. And also because forgetting where I am and making mistakes like that is also part of the pet genetics challenge. So let us begin. Sarah, here you are at your pension. I hope you have a wonderful time. If anyone ever wants to download you, they can snag you right off of the gallery. Oh gosh, the gallery has changed so much. Under Blissy underscore leaves, experiments. You can have uh, her help you out from when she was young at experiment 53. Oh, all the way up to 55. Let me go ahead and share that really quickly. And you guys can have uh, our wonderful Sarah, the lab assistant, maybe in your town well, as a criminal huh? with her sidekick kick punch. Because I think they would add a dash of awesomeness to the villains in your lands. So let's go ahead and let him retire. Oh, this is always the hard part. Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Kick Punch. And then we shall go ahead and allow Nora with her adorable little fangs and Leah with her really awesome fangs to go and play out in the cattery that we have for all of our cats. And it's time to add in a brand new lab assistant pulled from what you guys have actually left in the comment section. So my friends, here we go. You know the routine by now. In all of the previous videos that we have made for the Random Pets Genetics Challenge, I yank those URLs and toss them into a random comment picker. So it's not me, it is a machine picking amongst you to see who will be our lab assistant today. And the answer is... Kiara! So Kiara, you are now our latest lab assistant. I probably should have started numbering them too, but that actually seems a little creepy now that I think about it. But you're gonna be our lab assistant helping us out here and we are now going to randomize everything about you. So welcome Kiara. We're gonna see what you look like and we're gonna see what kind of touch you bring to the genetics in this challenge, especially because I really, we're so close to the 50th cat. I really wanna kind of hoof it on the cats. But speaking of hoofing it, I mean, we've literally got a dog with hooves. So ugh, I'm gonna roll a dice today because I can't decide what I wanna work on. But let's go ahead and randomize, speaking of rolling dice, let's randomize everything about Kiara. The only things that I really want to change right now our body shape, skin tone, and voice, and we'll manually change everything else. So let's begin. Using the numbers 1 through 12, we are going to randomize everything about Kiara and the ensuing animals. So we're actually only going to randomize body shape, skin tone, and voice once. There you go, Kiara. All right, all right, starting here. We're gonna pop up to the top and we're, ooh, you've got some makeup on, not in the lab. <laughs> that's that's one thing that we don't allow in the lab because I certainly wasn't allowed to wear makeup or jewelry when I was in the real life labs that I have been in before. 
Uh, let's go ahead and change your hairstyle 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's cute. 11. Oh, there we go. I got to 11 without even realizing it so fast. All right, so this is going to be Kiara's hairstyle. Let's change everything else about her. Uh, twice on the eyebrows. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times on the nose. We're going to go 12 times on the cheeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Lips, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Full nose, full lips, I like it. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the chin. Jaw, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's pretty much everything. Did I do head shape? I don't think I did head shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the head shape. And Kara, I need to reach your ears for a second. Uh, temporarily changing your hair, just so that I can reach your ears. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the ears. Oh, you are not part of the big ear club after all. Uh, and then this was the hair that you had. Yes. All right. So, Kiara, you look awesome. You look awesome. Did I change your eyebrows by accident? Somehow I think I changed your eyebrows by accident. I don't think you had those eyebrows, but I guess they're the ones you have now, so it'll work. It'll work. All right, so this is what she is going to look like. Let's go ahead and see what her clothes will be. Something full body for the lab. We're going to randomize 10 times. One. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! Kiara! <laughs> I love it. I love that this is like the first outfit that she was like, yes, I am going to be wearing this. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Please, Kiara, you can keep that. If We have to randomize a few more times, but that would be amazing. Can you imagine having a raccoon lab assistant in the lab? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, okay, not bad actually. I like it, a nice robe, an interesting shirt. It's been like strategically sort of opened. It's not torn at the bottom. Let's go ahead and see what kind of shoes we'll be wearing in the lab eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not bunny slippers, eight. Nice, this is actually a really, well, other than the heels, really appropriate outfit for this kind of lab work. I like it. All right, Kiara, and let's see what your personality is going to be like. You're going to be, let me see. Interesting, so you're actually going to love to explore uh, a home turf. These Sims become happy when they are in their home neighborhood. You're a city native who has come to join us, which is really cool because I think the clothes you are wearing are, are, I know the top outfit at least is definitely from the city. And then let's see, on skills, you're gonna be a loner, interestingly enough. And then, okay, and then you're also going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a mean oh, loner. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who, hang on, and then, uh, let's see. So, should, ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you're a mean loner geek. <laughs> who really likes the big city. That's kind of cool. I love it. I was actually just in Chicago uh, for some family events and it was my first time ever in Chicago and my first time ever around a true skyscraper, uh, a whole bunch of them, because I did see the big skyscraper in Taipei when we went to Taipei or Taiwan last year. And yeah, that was my first time around a bunch of big skyscrapers. So now it's kind of fun to imagine I bumped into Kiara there and she's a mean loner geek who wants to come work in the lab. So let's see what we're gonna be working on with her today, my friends. And the answer is kitty cats. So we are going to be making another cat. I rolled a dice, it was evens. That means that we're going to be making a mate for Blue Moon. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to pick a name really quickly. Staring at it, okay, got a name, got a name. And we're going to make a mate for Blue Moon and see what kind of new genetics, oh, maybe it'll be something exciting like bunny ears, are going to be added in. So new cat. You're so cute! Hello, little one! Alright, and we are going to need the first mixed breed that we actually run across. So, this is technically a mixed breed, actually. So this could actually count! You are so cute! Oh my gosh, Blue Moon! Like, the first cat that we rolled is going to be your mate. Okay, 
And we're gonna change, mm, should I name this cat? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and name this cat first. So this cat is actually going to be named Sarah, after Sarah Malika, who left such a kind comment talking about the beautiful Maine Coon cat that their friend had named OJ, which is a really fun, like a little orange juice because he was orange and white, long haired male. That's really adorable. I really love that. So now we have our own Sarah here. She is going to be feline experiment C046. And the very first experiment that Kiara is going to be helping us with. So let's see what she has brought to our lab and brought as an offering to our feline family tree. Let's go ahead. Uh, I kind of want to start doing name and personality first because it's really fun. Oh, that's a really pretty coat pattern right there. So let's do personality first. <laughs> Little Sarah is going to be a glutton who is a prowler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who's frisky? So we have a glutton who's a prowler and frisky. She's already really adorable. And let's see what she's going to look like. So, all right, guys, the randomization begins. We'll randomize the body one time. It's thinner body. I see. I see. Let us go ahead and change the face really quickly. Will I randomize the face? No. The face is like the head shape is going to stay the same. I mean, let's randomize the ears 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, pointy cute ears. Just like the Maine Coon. Oh gosh, that's adorable. All right, let's keep going, Sarah. We're going to see what kind of cat you're going to be. We are going to randomize the nose three times. One, two, three. Three. Oh! <laughs> I just want to scratch the kitty under its chin. This is such a cute cat. All right, we're going to randomize the whiskers 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so far keeping to pretty naturalistic colors, but what about when it comes time for the eyes? We're going to randomize four times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, dark and mysterious, beautiful purple eyes. Maybe we'll get something kind of alien inspired because Kiara is actually a loner geek. So she's probably seen a lot of really cool sci-fi series. And let's go ahead and change the tail, currently set to bunny tail, but will we be a three-tailed cat? Four rolls, we'll let us see. One, two, three, four. Ah, we're back to bunny, that's really cute. Sarah's like, no, I like my bunny tail. All right, so we have the bunny tail. And now we're going to change the coat pattern eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An all white cat. What? <laughs> well, okay, if that's the way it's going to be, maybe we'll get something really, really dramatic when the time comes to see what kind of pet clothing we have. So now we're going to randomize the color 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This could either be really plain or really, really neon. Eleven. Ah! Oh my gosh, a green cat! A lucky, lucky green cat! Sarah, I love you! Look at your ears! Look at the green all over you! You look like you have rolled in some moss or maybe you have just distilled moss clan into your, your essence. Oh, this is awesome. All right, we're gonna change the fur type ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so pretty short furred cat, but <laughs> definitely green. There is definitely a strong like Grinch or alien origin to this cat. And finally, we're going to randomize the pet clothing and see if we end up with all sorts of things. We now have really cute sunglasses from uh, Cal Calotron. We've now got really cute little ears, fuzzy ears. We've got so many different features. We've got this cute little bib. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we've also got physical traits that will actually stay with the cats that include everything from fingers to missing legs because sometimes there's accidents in the lab. So let's go ahead and randomize eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now it's time to see what we have wrought. It really does look like the Grinch who stole Christmas though, doesn't he? <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah, you, you kind of look just like a Grinch. All right, we'll go down. So unfortunately we didn't get any of the cool ears. 
Anything else? Is it just clothes? We got really adorable, cute little snow boots, though. Those are adorable. All right, but it doesn't look like we ended up with anything more dramatic, but that's okay. Blue Moon, Sarah, it is now time for you to have 12 kits, and we will be keeping the 12th kit as the 47th, uh, 47th animal in our feline family tree. So let us see what happens when you combine Blue Moon the vampire cat and Sarah the alien cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we're gonna get purple eyes no matter what though. I really hope we do. So let's do this. All right, 12 times on these two. <gasps> Look at this kitten. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. How on earth did these two end up having such a gloriously gorgeous cat? I mean, the depth of her eyes and the tiny little mouth and the teeny tiny little nose that she has. Oh, I, I can't. I can't abandon her. All right. This is going to be Sky, named after, not Skype, oh my goodness, Siri. Uh, Sky, named after one of your guys' cats. There we go. And we're going to make her an affectionate, clever, playful kitten who is just basically absolutely perfect because I cannot resist that teeny tiny face. This is one of the cutest kittens I have seen from our, I mean, look at this. <laughs> one of the cutest kittens I have seen from our family tree yet. There is no way I could resist that kitten. I can't believe that was just the first kitten. I need a new name for our new cats now. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to mix genetics. There we go. I have a new name pulled up. Wow! Okay, Sarah and Blue Moon actually have really cool kittens. This would be their wow, second child wow. right here. I really like him. Third child, also really awesome. All of their kittens are beautiful. Fourth, whoa, we're getting some green. Fifth, sixth, Seventh, oh, the eyes are just getting smaller. <laughs> Eight, nine, oh, ten, eleven. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Are we going to end up with a cat who actually has the green? Twelve. What? Okay, somehow we ended up with a really normal looking Tom cat. <laughs> who is going to be named Taja. So we have Taja and he is actually going to be the 47th cat in our family tree. I can't believe how normal you look, Taja. Well, let's see if those vampire fangs are going to be passed on and they are, yes. All right, so we do continue on with the vampire fangs from Blue Moon over here. Let's go ahead and grab the small vampire fangs. 50-50 chance of passing on. And he did indeed pass them on. I think they're actually much smaller than those ones. How many vampire fangs do I have? Just one, two, uh, no, they're the teensy tiny ones. Three, there we go. So Taja does actually have fangs, which is a really good thing. Unfortunately, he's not green and he doesn't have purple eyes. So somehow we managed to whip up some recessive genes despite my best attempts. And let's go ahead and give him his traits. He is going to be a free spirit who happens to be nine, 10, 11, affectionate. Aww, what a sweet cat. And then he's going to be uh, clever. So a free spirit who's affectionate and clever. It sounds like with his sister Sky, who is literally one of the most adorable kittens we have seen yet. They are a wonderful addition to our family tree. So not bad, not bad, Kiara. Mixing in an alien cat amongst the mix and still making sure that we pass on those fangs. I like it. So all right, guys, make sure that you leave your comments if you would like to become a lab member or if you would like to have one of your names chosen. You can leave names of your pets, of your friends, suggestions. You can ask to have your own name used for our many, many animals of our family tree. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.